Timescape One is was one of the first sort of landscapes or timescapes uh, that I created. So that's kind of a, an evolution of of making these shapes and forms that are basically membranes of the universe with with poles that you know are represented or or representative or examples of uh, uh, wormholes, time travel. Uh, the idea that that when they did the experiment about light, that light can be both a particle and a wave. All of those references are what the holes are about for me. So I, I playing with this idea, uh, pushing back, I'm the human 3D printer uh, with this specific work. And they're my internal universe, my external universe uh, through, through clay while I'm thinking about these larger questions, our place in the universe. Uh, are we just part of this video game or am I an actor, you know, with free will and analog being making these marks and these decisions. And right? I've been doing this specific, this has been a direction in the work. Oh, by the way, I make political clay. I make conceptual clay. I make clay movies. I push clay in a variety of different ways. This is just sort of what I refer to as my artifacts of process. These pieces in the, in the show, they are just sort of the remnants. Like this is what I did. This is that moment in time. Uh, playing with time. Failure, you know, when you're dealing with large slabs of horizontal slabs of clay, you're, you're, you're cracking, uh, ripping. Oh, wait a minute. I, um, I thought that that connection that I made there was strong enough, but there was, there was, so, there was so much weight here, it warps there. So you have to accept a lot of failure if you're going to work in ceramics uh, or clay. Uh, that's I, I'm three plus decades in of this bad habit that we call ceramics, uh, the addiction, and it, um, yeah, failure to probably if when I'm really pushing it and I'm trying new ideas, thirty percent, thirty percent easy of of what I do never finishes to that makes it to the final stage. It becomes great retaining wall material. Uh, it's all over my yard. My garden is a twenty years plus sculpture in the making. Uh, and so the pieces act as this um, sketchbook or reference of sketchbooking in 3D all throughout the all throughout the yard. I start to deal with the surface of the material in these specifically um, before I construct the forms. So they start as prints, as paintings, as as reverse holograph embedded material on the floor picked up off the ground, uh, or or painted directly onto the surface and then thrown back and and compressed and, and made into um, a slab that then becomes something, right? A, a, a painting or a sculpture uh, or a timescape. I'm allowing the material to be the material. Clay can be a chameleon. You can make clay whatever you want it to look like, right? And it can be faux leather, uh, a la Marilyn Levine, right? It can be hyper-realistic, uh, tip tolling. Uh, so, so Clay can do and be whatever you want it to be. So you need to start thinking about that as you start to make it.